The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're building, buying, selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the Real Estate House Party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real Estate House Party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real Estate House Party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. Welcome and thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Party. Listen. I'm here with Miss Feedback. Hold on. <laughs> Tony always what? makes fun of me for not working. Yes. That I'm more out than in. Yes. And I feel like he's more. Is that more... for a good reason or not good reason? Well, that's a good reason, valid, but now I, I'm making him look bad because I keep showing Tony up to this part of my to job. Tony said today he is not missing another show till Christmas. I can firmly say that I c- I'm not going to miss another show till Christmas. You either. have no vacation time. I have no, more <laughs> <laughs> I have no more days off. Well, I have Columbus Day and Veterans Day. and You have no vacation. Maybe the day after Thanksgiving and stuff like that. But um, You've never worked around the Christmas time the day afterwards. Oh, no. No. All no. right. Should we introduce our guest? Yes. Because Tony V says we have to do that a little better than we've been doing. I know. This is Lauren D'Amico Hi, from Lauren. New Fed Insurance. We have a lot of insurance questions to ask you. But we got to talk and chat for us. Yeah, so. we, we chit chat. We chit chat, chit chat for us. We got our prolific producer Ed Sullivan, who's typing away as as we speak. He says when Tony V isn't here, he's got a lot more content. <laughs> he needs to rest before the show because yeah, because all we do is fool around when Tony's here. Tony V sidetracks us. I asked him about some car accidents and all that. I can't repeat a lot of his car <laughs> stories right now, Lauren. Why? So, Please don't. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. So I'm, we're gonna wait for Tony V to come back in his in his own em- embellishing way to talk about some of his. I'm gonna tell some of my car stories. At oh some point. boy. Yeah. So Lauren, you do you do insurance all across the board. You do auto insurance, yes. home insurance. Um, do you ever get a point? In, and I'm thinking of the Carter family at this point. Um, do you ever get? Uh, families that you just have to shut off too too many too many car accidents, or is that do you ever do you ever say you can't can't renew them anymore or you're um, going to get canceled or what, what's the point? How many? Accidents? I won't say it. I will let the insurance carrier. Okay, so decide. they get to decide because you're the agent, right? And yes. you have several insurance companies that you guys represent, right? right? So I've I've had it happen, and I'll take them from one carrier, I'll place them with yeah. another, okay, until they cancel them for too many accidents, and then I can at least say it's not in my hands, right? Um, but Is I never I never give up on people because I was that person that just oh, kept were. getting car accident <laughs> after yeah, car just accident, a bad streak, right? Over and over. Um, you had a few car accidents in your time. Who a taught you lot. to drive, Brian or Jim or your dad? My dad. Oh, but actually, yeah, I would take your dad out. I of was um, very distracted all the time yeah so I had to be um with the Massachusetts assigned risk carrier so we call it MAPE and you're, it's like, you're a MAPE yeah it's like Client. the catch-all for the worst drivers you're in around. the catch-all with high oh, yeah. high premiums it right? was awful how many accidents um, you get into Lauren I could I couldn't even tell you <laughs> wow no um but I now have a clean driving record after how many years um, it's I been, know. It's been Applause. A uh, studio been, audience is standing and cheering. It's been eight years since the Eight years. Oh. Congratulations. You're so, eight years clean, huh? Yes. I actually got pulled over the other day. Did you and, start um, crying? No, but he said, do you have a good driving record? I said, it's clean, Absolutely. finally. Absolutely. Like, I haven't had a speeding ticket in so long, and I'm an insurance agent. Like, I know what you're going to do And to I'm me. in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> he came Pick back. He came back, and he said, I'm not going to mess up your streak. And oh, he gave me good. a warning. Did he say how fast you were going? And you said? He says I was going uh, 77, but I beg to differ. All right. What, all were right. you doing, 85? <laughs> no, I, I usually drive really slow that everybody's like, why are you crawling? So I just find it hard to believe. But My mother actually got pulled over once for driving too slow. She's only in oh, we used to see. We used to have a an office well we do still but we have, used to have an office on main street in reading yeah 248 main street in reading and we used to look out the window we had these big huge bay windows and we could see this huge line of traffic and at the front of it would be priscilla carter we'd his always mother. i'd always see my friends and they would always say i was behind your mother i don't i know okay yeah. sorry i apologize from the carter no. family she was the slowest driver she has actually got pulled over god 
bless her so uh she got pulled over for driving two slow ones wow. yeah she would be like a caravan in writing in the old days they used to have no uh red light you know you know stop yeah now at they all. have a million so the only way it would ever slow down in writing is if my mother was driving <laughs> through so um yeah so she was she was tough uh what, what's your what's your worst car you want to talk about your car accident i'll, I'll give you a couple of mine if you want or if you want to think about it, statute of limitations are probably up. Probably the worst. What, is, were, uh, what were your youngest? How old were you? So I had had my license for three weeks. <laughs> 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 and I got a new car, and I was so excited. It was a little purple neon, and I was yeah. pumped about it. And I was on Route 1 um, in Revere, right by Showcase Cinemas, like where that exit is. And everybody oh, stopped that's, short. Oh, that's the worst rotary. They all stopped short, and um, it was raining, and I slammed on the brakes, and I hit the car in front of me, and then the car behind me hit me, the car behind them hit them. Oh, big, So they big. said that I was the cause of, like, a seven-car pileup. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no wonder they won't insure you. <laughs> yeah. No, no wonder you're a not. vape client. So how old yeah. were you, 16? 16 and all a right. half. Ryan Carter, who's watching right now, had, <laughs> had beat that record a little bit. Can yeah. I tell you, tell you his first accident? Yeah. Four. Age four. We're the, we're the only Who one. Who was <laughs> watching him? His mother at the time. Because I remember this. Rick had to run out of the office. He goes, it appears that Ryan's had a car accident. I'm like, he's three. Yeah. <laughs> How did this happen? Well, my, my, my insurance carry still lasts to this day because we had two claims in the same situation. A house because he drove into the right. garage. <laughs> Good job, Ryan. And, 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 and wrecked the car, the van. Yes, his mother of the time. Was, was supposedly watching him, but yeah, so that, uh, but he's done pretty That's good since then. One. Well, I had two accidents in less than 24 hours. <laughs> Did you want to hear that? <laughs> I feel so much well. better about myself at this point. <laughs> we want you to feel good, Lon. Yeah, feel I'm like, comfortable. I'm Go not ahead. that bad. How old were you? I was um, like a sophomore in college. And right now, can I tell all the police officers you don't want to incarcerate this girl? <laughs> I'll tell you right now. She's, I have some of those stories she's, too. She's the worst. Go don't ahead. tell. All right. Yeah. Shh, you're right. Don't go tell ahead. family secrets. All right. Go ahead. So um, I totaled my dad's car, right? And yeah. so the, the very next day, I'm like, well, I don't know how I'm going to get to work. And Poor Kyle. I know. Um, and he said, well, you take my car, um, the other car. It was the family car. So he said, why don't you take your car? my car because you need to get back out there on the road and you need to drive and then on the way home from from work I was supposed to pick up my sister and I got in another accident so I'm like crying and she's like what's the matter I, go, I need to go home and tell dad I smashed up the second car in, in 24 hours less than 24 hours so how'd he, your dad take the second one uh he just didn't talk to me for about two months I think <laughs> Luckily for me, his mother was very sick, so um, he had other things to luckily, worry about. Luckily for you, <laughs> for his me, mother yeah. was very sick. Wow. So he didn't really talk to <laughs> wow. me. And yeah, wow. I, just, I just took it on the chin. So two in 24 hours. I had two within a couple of weeks. I hit a double-decker bus in Boston. That's tough to do. Yeah. yeah do I didn't you, even know there were double-decker do buses. A, yeah. How do you miss a double-decker bus? So that ruined one car. So then I had to use a couple of weeks later my brother's car. I said, I said to my brother Steve, I said, Need your car? I just got to go up, up the square. Can I uh, use your car? He says, absolutely. Just the, the brakes are a little sensitive. And I go, so when you think a little sensitive, yeah. you got to tap them a little bit. So I'm driving up to Reading Square, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I know there's the one set of lights in town, and I, I'm, you know, proceeding to, you know, slow down for it. <laughs> there are no brakes. <laughs> no brakes. No brakes at no all. Brakes. My foot is actually on the floor. And I said, uh-oh, now what do I do? <laughs> so I'm coming towards a, a red light. So I said, all right, I don't know what to do. So I actually had to jump into the other lane, going the wrong way. Lauren, Lauren's looking at this like, yes, yeah. she's been here. Yeah. So I had to jump in the wrong lane, going the other way. So then all of a sudden, I'm coming to the, that light, set of lights, and everyone had stopped. Red and yellow lights everywhere. And why do they usually do that? Because there's fire trucks there's coming. There's fire trucks right. coming through. So there's a... There's actually an ambulance <laughs> coming the other way and speeding around the corner, and I'm driving the wrong, on the wrong With lane. no brakes. With no brakes. And the ambulance hits me, and I end up on the uh, Redding Commons there. Well, at least the ambulance is there for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he wasn't going to take me anyway. He was pretty mad. He looks at me. He goes, you just hit me, you know. You've done this to me before, you know. <laughs> I said, no, no, really. You're the first ambulance I've ever hit. 
So I hit a double decker in uh, one week, and then the ambulance the next week later. So, so you don't think I'd be a, a MAPE candidate for that, or no? That was Depends years how ago, long right? Ago yeah. It was. I mean, oh, I, I hit a. State I was literally trooper. 16 years old. What's yeah. that? I hit a state trooper on Revere <laughs> Beach. <laughs> Maybe you should stay out of Revere. <laughs> yes. You hit um, a state trooper. All yeah, right. I backed up over the double solid line to come out of a parking spot. Yeah. And I was I was right when I got my car back from the shop from the first accident. <laughs> and um, my friends, I said, I can't see. My friends like, you're good for miles. You're fine. You're fine. So I, I come out and I hit something. And I, this and isn't I'm the like, purple neon again? Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? And I look in the rear view and I see the flashing blues. And I'm like, the cops are already here. They're like, that's who you hit. <laughs> I'm like, no. Cops are already here. Right outside of um, Kelly's Cream. I know. And I had a bunch of friends there, and they're all pointing and laughing, like, look what Lauren did. And um, I got a warning. I got a warning. You hit a state trooper, you got a warning? Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. I cried. Oh, yeah. See, crying always works. Yeah. Uh, It's when you get mad and act nasty that they're yeah. like you know what i'm gonna give it to her and just they give you the so ticket so this might have to be one upmanship so you got a few for us huh yeah. all right i'll have to throw one back at and you i have then. a really oh my good God. insurance rate now so all right stop bragging never, stop bragging you never give up on people all they right. can turn it around all right let me tell you this one since i didn't think we we're gonna spend the first 15 <laughs> minutes on car accidents but i think we're gonna have to she's she's warming up one upping us co- all right so so i'm ahead. driving around one night Mm-hmm. Just, I, I, I've never been able to sleep. So it's two in the morning. I'm literally by myself, just driving around, driving around, driving around. I end up in some industrial park. Oh my God. Just driving around. Not this story. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> I, end up, I feel like I'm free floating, actually. And I was. I drove off a dock. Ooh. Yeah. Not like a, not like a water dock, like a, <laughs> like a, like a loading dock. Like no, a, it was a loading dock. That's what I mean. Not like a water dock, it like into load. water. It was a loading dock right, at like right. an industrial park, right? Yeah. Right, right. So now I'm like you. I'm on my like third car because I already did the but double tell, decker. But tell them whose car it was. Oh, so it was now my mother's car. And uh, so it, you couldn't tell any damage on the, on the car except for the front. It, it, I went over so much, it pushed everything back. So you couldn't see any damage other than the fact that you couldn't open the doors. So his mother <laughs> would have to climb out the window to get out of her car. Can you picture it? Can you picture it? She's picturing it right now. Yeah. So I used to drive by writing school. Well, actually, and at Rick that point. Rick wants to know why his mother hated him. <laughs> yeah. She might as well just walk. She drives so slow anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> that's so, you're talking about. So, so let's um. So let's, let's talk about yes, we we. So that yes. leads us to the first question: When can a policy get dropped or non-renewed? It's for too many incidences, right? Too many claims yeah. put so in. You can get you can get canceled for a significant amount of claims. Um, usually, if if one carrier drops you, you could find another one that will take them. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it depends. So if it's a home carrier. There's a lot more carriers now too, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's tons. Yeah. Well, you just um, shop it around, right, and get the best yeah, rate and I who's going to. Wh- I see where I can place it. I do have, um, are we talking home or auto? Well, let's, let's talk home because that's a real estate. Right. So yeah. for home. Are we a real estate? <laughs> we are a real estate house <laughs> party. So let's so talk. And Ed's for very impressed. Home. We're 13 minutes in, and we're talking <laughs> houses. All right. All right, so let's go I with do, the houses. I do have one that just got canceled um, because of a rain claim. Something happened with the roof, and it was a significant Cause, claim. Because we get people all, all the time that they don't want to put in the claim because they think they're going to – One you, at a time. Can you let our guest – Is guests, your hand up? Can you let our guest speak? She was telling She's a story, like and he gets very – he interrupts. She's an over-modulator. She's <clears> missed <throat> feedback from what the, for what I understand. Go ahead, Lauren. Go okay. ahead. So, I mean, sometimes people don't want to put in the claim. So um, they'll say, you know, should I put it in? Um, I ask them, like, how much damage do you think there is? If it's lower than your deductible that you're going to pay right, that's anyway. that's stupid, right. right. Then, like, right. yeah, pay it out of pocket because then you won't get a surcharge on your insurance and all of that. But this one that just, it just got canceled yesterday. She had a uh, significant rain loss on the roof, and then she drove her car into her house. <laughs> so, so the rain, the thing about the rain loss is why would she get canceled for, for rain damage? Like, that's kind of out of her you control. You just let that go? No, no, the I'm getting pot, back. I'm getting back. To, I get she why. She drove into the house. I get why she <laughs> so got. You just, you just. I get why she got canceled. <laughs> it's about the just money paid out. Just pretend he's not here. <laughs> it's um, it's based on the money paid out. So, not so, so much I always reason. feel like, as a layperson or as a consumer, that 
when you have insurance and you pay your premiums. That's what it's for. Right. It's what it's for. Like, so I'm paying 20 years of premiums. I have one claim and now you drop me. Like, it's almost like, you know, you're good till you're not good. Right. So sometimes they'll come out though and the roof might have had previous damage or the roof might not have been in good condition. Okay. That it should have been fixed already. And because it wasn't fixed by the insured, that's why the loss occurred. Okay. Is um, anyone else going to address this or is it but just hang me? On, hang on, hang they on. They drove into the house. Hold on. No, we're going, I want to know about this. We're getting to that. So um, so the other thing is, do they pay out the claim and then cancel them? They, well, they don't cancel them. They non-renew them. Okay. So, so they, they, they will pay out the claim. They take care of everything that um, is going on with the loss itself. Okay. Just on their renewal date. They, they won't renew them. Right, they cut so them like off. So, like, this person, I think, is renewing in December, and they let me know yesterday. So, they give us ample time. 60 days or 80 yeah, days so to... Plenty of time to move them. Um, and we do have... I have two carriers I can put people with if they have, a you know, a significant claim history so that other standard Does carriers... Does one carrier carry. look at why they've been um, non-renewed. Do you have to put that in the application? Yes. Yeah, I imagine you would. Mm-hmm. So they're, yeah. they're, they're, the next carrier is going to be a risk taker right? with and a higher also premium. Also, once you put in a person's name in their birthday, you have to run an insurance score yep. report and all their claims pop up. Okay. So you can't hide. You no. can run, but you can't hide. No, and if you lie, you know, because people lie to us. Like, as of the course agent, they do on their application. They lie to me all the time. Yeah. And I'll say to people, you know, like, how's your claim history? How's your driving record? Oh, it's great. And then I go and I run it. And I'm like, <laughs> seriously? I'm like, what part of this is great? You know, yeah. so I have to go back. And I'm like, I can I can see this stuff. So, so do credits, so, credit scores factor in these days? Actual credit scores? It takes a little bit. Okay. A little bit. It does factor into your does insurance it? score. But like, so if you don't have any credit, yeah. you could not qualify because you right. don't have any. So, I've seen that okay. happen. Okay. Um, a lot of insurance carriers are getting more lenient with this stuff, and they're creating more tiers of insurance. So, if I put someone in, they could, you know, they could qualify for a really high tier, so they get a much better rate okay. than someone that doesn't have credit or doesn't have the best credit. But once in a while, I still come across them. That now, I- now, you have a catch-all. Play. We, we ran into this situation where... Didn't you want to talk about the lady no, that... We're, no, no, let's, we're let's just finish it, it. I don't really have the details. Okay, no, we're past on. it. So, no, me it no, happened. They, that I, white elephant in the room has left, okay? <laughs> I have my hand up, and Mr. Ed Sullivan, can you just shut off all the other mics? <laughs> Listen, Why do you think yours was on? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the lady that ran into the house... So. Insurance is there to protect you against law, you know, for mm-hmm. any kind of loss. And no one's perfect, right? So right. she screwed up and hit her garage and whatever the circumstances were that she, you know, it just happened. So would she would be, um, she would be non-renewed because of a mistake or like, do you know what I'm saying? It's, she yeah, drove they, into the house. They I consider know. it negligence. So okay. like the, the roof might have needed repairs, and then this happened too. Okay, so they, but they her just can't auto handle her anymore. Yeah, like auto insurance paid for a lot of that. Okay. Um, for her, you know. Was she drunk? I don't know. Do we need Tony V <laughs> for this verification? So. She just, she told she me that it happened. She drove into the house. She's not going to get renewed. Can I tell, can I tell a funny drive yes, into the house story? Um, another another um, story of my dad. Every time we took the car out, we lived in an old house in Winchester, and it had a um, freestanding garage. You know, those two stu- two two-story garages yeah. but they weren't attached to the house yeah and every time we say dad can you take your car he'd be like you can take my car but don't hit the goddamn garage right so every single time it's we a went reasonable out, request <laughs> he was just so <laughs> mad about it right and we didn't even do anything so every time i'd be shaken as i'm pulling in and out of the garage so i go to off to college i come back and i went to borrow my dad's car and the, the garage is all smashed in and i go mom <laughs> what happened to the garage? And he goes, she goes, your father hit it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> All right. So we we're talking about that catch all when uh, yes. people are getting, uh, can't get a policy. We ran, ran into this situation when someone was buying a house and found he, out he had a dog that the breed was not acceptable yeah. for a certain policy. There's something I know uh, this is, this is covered in a lot of States, but in Massachusetts, I know they have, they have a, kind of a catch-all for something like that, right? Yeah, it's um, Mass Fair Plan. Right. Okay. 
Um, it has a longer, more, yeah. you know, um, they're, they're dignified a little bit more name, but yeah, yeah. I call it Mass Fair Plan. And they're a little um, bit more tolerant. They, they'll they take anything. Um, I, I mean, the house can't be, like, you know, falling down and the roof right. can't have a hole in it. Um, you need to fix any type of damage that there is. So in that case, you usually get, like, a vacant home policy and put a builder's risk endorsement right, on yeah. it so that it's vacant while they do the work. But for just a homeowner, if there's an, el- an eligible breed of dog, even if it's a... Uh, you know, an eligible breed dog. Like I have a little, I have a little dog. She doesn't know she's a dog. She thinks she's a person. <laughs> and what um, kind of dog is it? She's a Cavachon. She's a Cavalier King Charles oh, yeah. Spaniel mixed with a Bichon. She's a princess. And uh, <laughs> so, but even though she's like a little dog, if she bit somebody and it it was recorded somewhere or I got sued for it, that would even kick back for a okay. standard um, market policy. Oh, yeah. okay. So, like I just said, someone, they have a Labrador. That's an eligible breed of dog. Anybody will take a Labrador. But the Labrador bit someone once, and it's on record because the person went to the hospital. So now they now have to Now you have go. a problem. Yes. <clears throat> so we do have mass fair plans, so they'll take, you know, all of that. They're very But they pay the premium. They pay yeah. a, a much higher premium to get that insurance. Sometimes it's not too much higher. So I just had somebody I had to switch from a standard market to fair plan due to a dog. And um, I think it was $200 more for the year. Oh. So if you love the dog. Divided by 12, it's yeah. worth it. Right. If you love the dog, that's, uh, you know, that's So nothing. what about the drive-bys luckily, at the insurance? Luckily, the seven or eight people that my dog have bitten <laughs> has it reported. not documented. Right. 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 Yeah. No yeah. one. But no one's going to look at you in very good light <laughs> after the show. No, we it's do my have, dog. I, I don't judge me on my dog. We have one more other, um, a new carrier. So they've been they've been throughout the United States, but they're newer to Massachusetts. Okay. Um, their name is Swift. Okay. So I've been starting to, you know, I researched them a lot first because they were mm-hmm. new to the state, but they will take, um, they will take the dogs. They okay. Will. Yeah. They will. Now, does and insurance they will take companies? no matter insurance score. But what? It, they'll oh, take, like, no matter what matter. the credit score or insurance score is, the only, if you had losses, you're going to pay for them. Okay. Right. Yeah. So do insurance companies, is this true that they do drive through, um, drive through neighborhoods or where their houses are, in, they insure houses and say they see a trampoline or they mm-hmm. see a, a roof that needs to be replaced? So they usually <laughs> go out and they'll inspect the property, just the outside of it. Um, when the policy is new. Right. They don't usually do it every year in renewal unless for any reason they feel, they feel like deemed they have necessary. To. Yeah, so... If you, you know, do have a trampoline, how much does it spike up? It depends. <clears throat> if Most depending insurance on the character. companies don't want you to have a trampoline, um, right? I have a carrier that will take a trampoline as long as you have a net around it and okay. it doesn't add more premium. The only reason it would add more premium is because you should increase your liability coverage. Okay, so, so if, that's where the if my would be. son fell down and broke his arm on your trampoline yeah. that you were insured for, um, I can send you the medical bills or how mm-hmm. does that work? Yeah. Okay. That's how it works. Hmm. That's pretty good. Now, you also have a new carrier for flood insurance, too. Yes, I do. That's a pretty good one. I've been writing with private market flood. So let's back up a little bit. For flood insurance, we've seen this where um, the the buyer says, all right, to Mr. Seller, um, do you have flood insurance? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, he's buying the house. He needs flood. He needs flood insurance. What? What's going so on here? So the rate, um, not the rate, I'm sorry, the, the map. FEMA yeah, the, <coughs> the elevation map maps. probably and changed yeah. within yeah. when the seller bought the so house. So not only the maps, but also the it. elevation. Yes. Yep, both yes. those. So it, it happens a lot. So one property may may not have been in a flood zone in 1960, but in 1995, the flood yes. maps are changed or whatever year it was, and now it is in a flood zone, but the seller would never know because – they a don't have a mortgage on it, or b never right. refinanced they never and, needed to. And, and never needed to figure it out. Yeah. Like they weren't notified that they're in a flood zone. Right. Some people they'll they'll be notified. So, I have a client that he was raided with the house in a C flood zone, mm-hmm. which is minimal risk. Right. So he pays. You know, I think it's seven. What's the worst A then? Obviously, right? No, the worst is V. V. That's a yeah. new one to us. Really? Z and A, right? Mm. Um, so if there is a, so he got rated in a, in a C zone, he pays like $700 a year. If he was to switch carriers or anything, That's interesting too. now he'd be rated in an AE zone and because now it'd be about $2,600 a year. Right. So I just, cause I was taking And it has to be the dwelling in that AE zone, right? 
Yes. Right. Well, um, the other thing I, I, I've noticed about flood insurance, because I have flood insurance on my house in Maine, is that every year it went up a couple hundred dollars. I started at like 1500 and bef- when I mm. stopped it, it was 30, I think it was $3,600 wow. a year. Every year, like it was just, and it was almost like I automatically needed it. And I finally called the yeah. bank and I said, uh, I don't really need all this. I don't have $150,000 worth of contents in the house. Right. And so I kind of went through it all and figured out, and I got it back down to like $1,500 a yeah. year. You just have to know what questions to ask. I always ask people if it has a basement. Um, if it does have a basement, I ask them how much the things in their basement you know, the value, like right? What do you want contents? A lot of people, they'll put no coverage. Right. Because um, they won't put anything of value down there, right? Right. But, I mean, you have to think about, like, your hot water heater, your right. furnace, an mm-hmm. oil tank, anything like that. So I usually will just do, like, 25000 just to cover, know, that, cover yep. those things. And then just tell them, don't leave anything on the ground. Um, but the most prevalent, like, zone that I see is AE. And sometimes I see it, and, like, it, it should be necessary sometimes you see and there's like a puddle three blocks away but it won't matter if you're in that zone and you can't you can't piggyback off a seller's policy anymore sometimes you can you can um yes i did it for someone a couple weeks ago really yeah so so ask the questions right yeah the agent said um the other insurance agent they were willing to transfer it as long as the seller signed off on it so they were going to transfer it, but they wouldn't do it without the home policy, too. Oh. And I had gotten the home policy. Oh. So they called, and I said, I can transfer it for you as well, but I can't do it as fast as you need it. This should have been done. You know, it takes a little bit of time and work, but it can be done. Oh, that's good to um, know. Yeah. So I don't know how they finagled it, but I ended up getting the home, and then he'll switch the flood next that. year. No, you can do it. It's possible as long as all the parties are in agreement. All right. Hey. Rick, an important message came in that you should be aware of. Go ahead. It's from someone named Tony V. (laughs) It says, hey, something's missing. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's me. Yes. I'll be back next week all bathed and powdered and feeling like a brand new human being. Good. Apologies. (laughs) We'll be looking forward to it, Tony. (laughs) Thanks for listening. That's the breaking. We've never had an emergency blast alert. Breaking news. Breaking news from Tony V. Before, <laughs> thank you, Tony V, for the whole momentum of the show. Got derailed right now, but we appreciate him chiming in. That's very nice of him. Um, he can't be too lo- busy if he was watching. No, we love Tony V. Tony V is the best. Yeah, he's our man. He is absolutely the best. I've seen I him think, a few times. He's I actually think that he just got voted. If I could be wrong, voted funniest guy in Massachusetts. Did you guys hear that? Who's yeah? Tony V. I well, don't know who he is wins vote. the war. I don't know who voted. Who, who voted Tony? But I swear I saw that on Facebook. He keeps Facebook. getting like best newcomer or something like that. <laughs> he's, oh, he's he is a pretty funny. You gotta dude. you gotta see him and he steals the show in uh, Sweeney Killing Sweeney. It's a little uh, low cost uh, movie that was just put out. Lenny Clarkson and Steve Sweeney's I'll have in to it. Find it. You you gotta check that out. Tony yeah. steals it and he plays a realtor. So. A real estate agent. He yeah. feels really co- confident in yeah. his role as a real estate agent. Right. And it's all because we've taught I, I him. I think we've taught we've, him yeah, on that. We have. I think, yeah. He's, uh, uh, he's an aloof real estate agent that doesn't seem real happy at his job and would really? ra- rather be Steve Sweeney's agent. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, he steals the show. So, supposedly Tony's coming back and we're already getting ready for our Christmas special. So oh we goodness. got a lot coming up. So do, what do you want to talk about next? Um, I How like about, that question about the ice dam. The well, ice dams. You were on flood insurance. Oh though. yeah. Yep. Oh. So just the only thing I want to say about flood insurance is now, now they offer a private market flood insurance. Oh, right. Which is, is, it's, is, it's a huge difference from the national the flood insurance policy. So like the standard market, if I quote someone, it'll, it was, so I did one yesterday. It was like 3800 for the year. I quoted it with the same um, coverage amounts, and it was 2600 Wow. With so what's that going to do to the national flood insurance? I mean, they're, they're, <clears throat> because they're private market, they can kind of pick and choose what they want to insure. Yeah. So like the big risks, they're not going to take it. Um, but these little houses that are in AE flood zones, yeah. and because right. they have a puddle, 
you know, they'll take those and they're so coming like out the ocean, $1,000 cheaper. Ocean homes, they probably aren't yes, going to take. I quoted a VE flood zone, <clears throat> which is um, a very high risk flood zone right on the beach. And they were not as competitive there. Right. But the houses that you're like, why would this be in a flood zone? They're very competitive. I've been right. saving people like about $1,000 dollars But that's exciting more. news. That's new, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's newer. So um, I did some research on it. And as soon as I, you know, got a grasp and then as soon as lenders started to be more lenient in accepting it with a mortgage, I was like, I got to get in there. So that's awesome. We do have an appointment with them. I've, I've come across one lender that was like, I can't take private market, but they're the only one so far. Okay. That's awesome. So yeah. we're going to, we're an association because we have about three minutes left. Uh, Condominium coverage. Yes. What are you? Are I you? wanted to talk about the ice dams because we, gonna, we are going we, into the winter in New England. And ice dams <clears throat> on the roof are covered. Yes, they are covered, but, but however, they hate them. They hate them, the but carriers hate them. then sometimes they, there's other things that aren't covered from the loss. I, I've heard different stories, like, you know, maybe, like, the, the pipes, the ice dams, you know, um, I don't know what they do is, like, they ruin ceilings, and in, but they cover yeah. all the losses with them. Yeah, I've, I've never seen them okay. not. I, I had an ice dam myself. Okay. And it covered everything. All right. Yeah. I think it's when it's mm-hmm. groundwater, right? Through yeah, the, groundwater through, isn't through the covered. foundation they won't cover. Yeah, even right? flood insurance won't cover the groundwater. Flood insurance. Well, flood yeah. insurance would, but if you just but not if, a ho- not homeowners you know, like a homeowner's right. policy. If it's like if you have, you should always have water backup um, on your policy, but it still doesn't. What cover. is water backup meaning? So if you have a sub pump or um, I like to put it on policies just for like the. The hot water heater just oh, in case. If, yeah. it, if, if it starts yeah, to like leak? Yeah, just in case. Like, in, in it's probably covered anyway, but so I would say I'm in insurance. So, like, I am always about, like, the safer the better. And mm-hmm. um, I don't like to take too many risks. So, I, I always put it on my policy, and I have a tankless water heater. But I'm like, just in case. I just want it for the, you know, for any groundwater that, okay. that it may cover. If it, because it, I think it costs sixty dollars for the year, right? To have again, it. divide by twelve. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want a broken water heater. No, like why? I know someone that just had a sub pump overflow. Because and your I don't feet think would they get had that endorsement. Wet, moist. That's for you, Tony V. <laughs> Ugh, that's such no, a they gross gonna, word. They're not going to get moist. They're going to get wet. <laughs> oh, I hate that word. <laughs> All right, quickly, condominium. Yeah. A lot of people think the condominium has a master insurance on the policy. Yeah. But that doesn't cover. Right. Well, uh, that covers the studs out. Covers studs t- out. Typically. Um, so they should so get. studs in, you want to co- cover. Walls, like I, what do they call it? Walls in? Yeah. And I usually put enough to car- um, cover their appliances, even though you, sometimes the condo um, supplies them still. Um, appliances, You're talking clothing. short money, right? Yeah. Appliances, clothing, furniture. Contents. Yes. Everything. So, and then you Perfect. do the dwelling. I do a little bit on the dwelling. Just Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. I just so it's it's like important to, to have a good insurance agent that's looking out yes. for you. Yes, like I had a condo, I had a condo, and the master policy was going to cover the ice dams for the ceilings, but they came back and said that they didn't want to pay the deductible. They made everybody go through their homeowners, so people that didn't have adequate dwelling coverage, they were, oh, they were in a, screwed. A, a now, does it make sense to go to the same carrier that the master insurance is with? And no. That, no. no, I knew no. you'd say no. That. Yeah, look at her face. <laughs> no, unequivocally, no. I no. knew you'd say that. You need to go to New Fed. Yeah, New, New Fed, Fed insurance. insurance. Does New Fed Insurance have a phone number? Yep, seven eight one two four one one two two four. We have a website www.newfedinsurance.com, and we're located in Peabody, Massachusetts. Nice. Well, we this is a lot of I information. I feel like we have like we need to have Lauren back. We could have Lauren back. Did you have fun today? Yeah, this is great. We this have a new great. friend and yeah. tons of information. And I think that the, your information that you gave was good. It's good for our homeowners. I don't know if I actually gave any information. You did. It's all I let subliminal. people know I'm an awful driver. <laughs> no, and, um, nope. I think, I think Rick's a yeah, I worse think he wa- awful he, driver. I he was made so up, interested in one-upping me. So. No, you didn't. Did. That's, that's for <laughs> Ryan Carter, Renee Carter, and Scott Carter, who has never heard those stories before. I'm sure they haven't. Ed Sullivan, our pro- prolific producer. How'd we do today? You were writing like crazy today. Thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Party. Thanks, Lauren D'Amico, for showing up. And Miss Feedback, our paralegal extraordinaire <laughs> herself, Kathy Holtzhauser. We'll talk talk about her jail sentences later <laughs> on. Have a good week. Sorry, Mom. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.